So there's a an rated and an unrated version of your film. So yes. Can you tell me the difference between them? Um, less graphic hand draw, and uh, yeah, there you know some tweaks to the violent scenes. There's a, a, a little, uh, a few trims here and there uh, okay. to the sex and violence. And I think it's still unclear which version will be in the cinemas in Germany. So, what do you tell the, the people who choose the version? How to if if they should uh, use the the unrated version? Right. I mean, I would love people to see it in in the theaters uh, because uh, although I don't fetishize theatrical releases in the same way that some directors do. Uh, there was a lot of work put into the visuals and the sound and, you know, Tim Hecker did this fantastic score for it. And, and so there is a, an immersive element to, to theatrical. I, ha I have to sort of grudgingly admit that, that it's nice to see it in theaters. So um, I, I would appreciate it if people just want to see whatever version is available to them. I always think that uh, having a budget or it's uh, important for a film what well, is good for a film. Uh, would you have done anything different if you had, let's say, unlimited money or unlimited time? Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the way the film turned out. It was a very tight schedule. It, it's not a tiny film, but, but for what we were doing, the schedule was pretty tight and the budget was pretty tight. So, um, I, you know, it was, a, it was a pretty hectic shoot. I mean, we got through it in a, in a way where, where uh, I think everyone's quite pleased with the end result. But, uh, to make it at a bit more of a leisurely considered pace uh, would have been would have been nicer. You know, sometimes we were just rolling two, three, four cameras at once, and, and uh, it, it was a sprint every day. So uh, it's better to not work like that if you can help it. But it looks good. So um, <laughs> can you shine a little light in how you achieve these incredible images with your cin cinematographer Karim Hussein? Sure. I mean, it's a, uh, all of the, hallucin uh, the hallucination scenes are totally in-camera practical effects. And so um, I would work for months with Kareem Hussein, my cinematographer, experimenting with different gels and, and flares and diopters, and, and we would uh, create a sort of toolbox of image distortion. Then uh, we brought on Dan Martin, uh, who is our makeup effects designer, uh, to do some of the makeup effects aspects of the hallucinations. Zosha McKenzie, our production designer, did a bunch of work. Uh, these mirror boxes, for instance, with smart glass on the back, so you could have pinwheels of light that uh, would shine through the glass without showing the rig and, and, that, and bounce around the inside of the boxes. Um, we shot a huge amount of material. Kareem and I would then take the material, uh, the rushes to his apartment and project them on a screen, re-photograph them through more glass and more gels to further distort the image. Sometimes we'd take each shot and shoot it six times with different levels of distortion, different types of distortion. Uh, and then it became a completely deranged process with my editor James Vandewater because we were assembling these scenes sometimes uh, frame by frame, almost like stop motion. And there's a kind of weird alchemy to that kind of editing because the order of the frame is not just the images, effects how they punch through. So it was a, a very long experimental process with uh, a number of people. What's coming up next? What can we expect? Um, I have uh, a space horror film I'm working on called Dragon uh, that I hope gets made. I'm also trying to do an adaptation of a J.G. Ballard novel called Super Can as a, as a limited series. Um, and I have a few other things. I'm not sure if any of that will get made, but uh, hopefully I'll have something uh, else in not too long. Yeah. And I just found out yesterday here at the EFM that your sister is also doing a movie. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, she's just editing so it. What's what she do? What, what can we expect back? Um, expect something great. I mean, of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. So, what do you expect from tonight's screening here in Berlin? Uh, I never know what to expect. Uh, <laughs> to, to be honest, I, I never know how people will react going to uh, going into a screening, but. Um, you know, it's my first time in Berlin, even as a city, and, and it's my first time at the festival. Uh, it's the, the mood here is fantastic. Uh, everyone seems delightful, <laughs> lovely. Uh, you know, I hope the screening goes well. Um, I'll, I'll see you soon. I'm pretty sure it will. Good luck with the film. Thank you for the interview, and I, I, I'm looking forward to everything that's coming next. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. Thanks a lot.